habit is to walk into my office hello office hello laundry that needs to be packed and drink some water literally this entire thing and are they just make me so proud because I like how my recent things have been happiness balance productivity this was how it was the entire year but I'm about to get into this one intention because I used to be really intentional about my life and about how I wanted things to go I still am to a large extent but I feel like I've kind of let that go um, because you know we have this pressure to be don't be too controlling on your life or I just you know go with the flow and that's all well and good but sometimes that can blur the lines between you know how, how do you live an intentional life in your values in your ideologies in the way that you are towards people in the way that you are towards yourself and all that and in the way that you plan your life so i'm getting back into being intentional um this year so i'm just going to um do that journal and do and to know the stream of consciousness i did it briefly in 2020 because i really needed to and i'm trying to get back into that which is you wake up you write down every single thing that's on your mind you just pour it all out onto pages and this is just still my notebook from last year that i was gratitude journaling in so i'm just going to sit here and So these are my morning intentions today. It is to declutter the kitchen and just to declutter my space in general and just make way for, you know, just the new year and everything. I finally organized my closet so that was the clothing rail and here's my main closet with all of my dresses I even color coordinate them and literally all of it is organized all of my coats All my winter shoes, all of my winter clothes in that suitcase. My bathroom. If I didn't have some laundry in the bathtub, I would say my entire house is fully organized. But I've got some clothes in the bathtub, as you can see. But I'd say I just need to put some suitcases up there, um, the ones I was traveling with. And then that's that. And just for my yoga, I'm just going to wear this crop top from Cotton On and these brown tights, these cycle shorts from uh, Mr. Price. And oh my gosh, can you tell that I love the beach? <laughs> I'm such a sea girl. Love being by the beach. Like this video so far, guys, if you liked my travel vlog when I was on vacation and I went to the beach because... She loves going to the beach, beach. Let's go get away. <laughs> what I am missing is a yoga mat because Choco ate my pink yoga mat. So I use this mat that's just gotten so dirty. So I think one of the things I need to do today is to go in search of a yoga mat. Bird toy. Mm-mm, it's never a problem, it's never a problem, it's never a problem this time, so, sorry.
Gotta go. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do this feel good yoga. Okay. Yeah, this one looks good to me. I also like this one and the one that does breath work. But I think for now, I'm just going to do this one. But oh, this looks like I could get into it 20 minutes. Or should I do the uplifting infusion, guys? No, I, th I really like this lady, Kali. So yeah, let me get off of here and get down there. Get down on it. And if you're wondering about the app that I use, it is the Headspace app. you through this 10 minute energizing yoga practice. Oh, wow. I'm so sweaty from the yoga. Guys, I'm so proud of myself. Oh, yoga is hard. I don't know who is this person that said yoga was easy. I think maybe it's easy if you're light, but if you're heavy, all of that on your wrists, on your everything. I actually sweated quite a bit because I actually find yoga quite difficult. So I'm really proud of myself. So now it's time to what? Maybe eat. So I woke up quite late. I'm still trying to get into back into the swing of things so i woke up i think at nine or ten um so it's basically lunch time now so let me have some lunch and yeah. for lunch this uh, is it a club sandwich I think from Paul and I'm having half of it now and half of it later because I'm traveling for work tomorrow and so yeah I just I don't want to buy groceries because of load shedding everything just spoils and it's just when you come back it's the worst thing so I'm actually going to make a salad out of this oh look my nails match with the knife uh, let me do some balsamic vinegar maybe some tomatoes and some let me see yes olive oil i don't know that's not how you pronounce it but yeah let me do that and then eat and i've also got what is it if you go to paul a lot then you know about this one I love it with coffee on a Saturday morning. It's so lovely. Um, but like at Paul, not in my house, but I decided to treat myself. So yeah, sandwich, salad, croissant-ish. And then later I'll have this and I'm gonna just throw on some tomatoes and some cucumber. Actually, let's do, ooh, look at Choco's toy, guys. He just completely obliterated his toys. <laughs> And then I've just got some cucumbers here. I like my cucumbers tiny and crunchy. And then I'm just going to do some blue cheese because I've got some creamy blue cheese dressing. And I'm just going to drizzle over with a tiny hint of balsam. And that 
will be you know i'm always surprised you know as someone who just used to eat and i mean from time to time still eats copious amounts of food especially when i'm not in a good place mentally whenever i'm in a good place and i'm eating healthy i'm always so surprised about how much food gives me like good vibes and good energy and i'll, I'll judge it i'll judge it and i'll be like okay this cannot possibly fill me up and then i'll eat and i'll be so full because i also got my favorite which is a carrot juice with a shot of ginger and um i'll be so full with also the croissant but uh, whenever I'm not in a good place, this will always look like too little food for me or, you know, I don't know, food that will be delicious and things like that. So it's just always curious um, to me. By the way, the lettuce came with the sandwich. So I'm going to have the rest of that. I know it's garnish, but it's so fresh because I ordered it literally right before lunch. So I just, it's just so fresh. I don't know why I should be olive oil, but some olive oil. Good olive oil, by the way. This is the Olivia Coratina Estratto Alfredo. Olio monovarietale prodotto. Solo con olive coratina. Raccolte a mano. Aroma di carciofo. E pomodoro verde con fresche note erbaci from Babylon store. Oh, extra virgin coratina olive oil, cold extracted. <laughs> Let's see that. Um. I do that because I like to tell people about the time that I lived in Italy for a month and a half doing a course on business and human rights. I'm going to actually put in some clips from my time in Italy in Venice because my friend is in is going to Rome and I wanted to do Rome and Florence when I was there, but I just was in Venice. And when I'm doing gratitude journaling, Sometimes I'm reminded about how ungrateful sometimes I could be. I could have this amazing experience and I'd focus on the fact that I just wasn't having time to go to Florence. Like all my other classmates had perhaps made arrangements or they um, were able to go after the fact that I just couldn't fit it in the schedule. And so I just couldn't go and I felt like it was such a wasted opportunity and I just kept beating myself up every time I just like go to the beach or go to the museum or just walk around in Venice. I'd be like, oh my gosh, ugh, I'm wasting time in Venice. I could be in Rome. I could be in Sicily. I could be in Florence. I could be on a train. I could be on a Vespa. I could be on a wine country. And now when i'm a bit grown up that was a that was 10 years ago literally because that was in 2012. it's just so important to me that i gratitude journal daily because that's such an indication to me about how your perception can shape things and how lack of gratitude can have such a bearing on happiness and sort of your happiness index i don't know why i'm going all philosophical why i'm just making you know a sandwich and a salad but I just thought yeah to just you know talk about why that's important for me so sometimes meditation will go out the window for me for like two months weeks on end and i'll see myself going into a spiral but the one thing that just never ever 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 i just can never lose i don't know it's just such an integral part now of my life is gratitude journaling or gratitude walks or um saying prayers for gratitude either in the evening Three things that I'm grateful for or in the morning when I wake up and that has just helped me so much through hard times and through good times.